Okay, I wanted to do a quick video on calculating the surface area and volume of prisms. Um, and I'm going to use examples of rectangular prisms, um, but really this will work for any prism um, at all, as long as it's a reg regular prism. Now, the pyramid shape does not count as a prism, um, as a regular prism, because it's not uh, the same uh, dimensions all the way throughout its length or height. Um, so if this was to curve in the middle or if it was to taper or something like that, it wouldn't count for this lesson. Um, okay, basically the surface area of any prism, so I'm going to say surface area, is equal to the area of, I guess I should write that, all, area of each face. Okay, so I should say this is the sum of the area of each face. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to calculate each face uh, separately and then add them all up. Now, with regular prisms, it's usually beneficial because um, usually all of the side faces are the same, or at least the ones opposite from each other are, and um, usually the ones that, like the top and the bottom, are the same as well. So you really only have to do like one or two or maybe three different area calculations, then you can multiply the results to get them. I'm not going to go over this uh, specifically in this lesson um, because I think that's kind of easy. If you understand that area is equal to length times width, um, then what you would be able to do is you'd be able to find out that the bottom face here would be length times width, this front face would be length times height, and the side face would be width times height. And then you just have to multiply each one by two and then add them up to get the whole surface area of this shape. Now, it gets a little bit uh, tougher if you have a shape like this. Okay, so if you've got a shape like a pentagon. Okay, and what you can do is you can divide the pentagon up into triangles. And what you'll find um, if I can get to the center of this, is that it divides pretty well into triangles. Okay, and then you'll get five different triangles, and then you just have to add up the volume, or sorry, the area of all of these triangles. And if this was a pentagonal prism, okay, then what we could do is we could just uh, then find the area of each face, okay, and then so once we had all f once we had one of these triangles, we can multiply it by five to get the area of the whole base. Um, then we can multiply, find the area of one of the faces, multiply by the height, and get one of the walls. And then you'd um, you'd have to multiply the wall area by five to get all five walls, and the base area by two to get uh, the top and the bottom. And then you could have the surface area of this shape. Okay. Um, this is a little bit more complicated without understanding trigonomic ratios. And I'll probably use this as an example in one of my future trig uh, videos, so I'm not going to go over this right now. Okay, uh, with volume, uh, volume, as most people know, uh, volume is equal to length times width times height. Okay, um, so the volume of this box would be the length times its width times its height, and assuming that these are all expressed in the same units. Um, but that's actually a pretty straightforward one as well. And what it means is that, like, how many little cubes could you put into this uh, unit cubes based on uh, whatever unit you're calculating. Now, the pyramid shape, however, is a little bit tougher um, because it's not really apparent how much uh, how much volume this has. And just very quickly, the volume of uh, pretty much any pyramidal shape um, is one third the volume of its um, of its Prisma, prismatal shape. Okay, so I'm not even sure if that's a word. Okay, but um, the volume of the pyramid, so the, the volume of the blue pyramid, if it's sitting in the, in the same box and this point touches the bottom of the box and this plane, this, the base of it touches the top or reverse, um, and all these corners meet the corners, um, would be one third length times width times height. And that rule goes for pretty much all of these, pr of these prism shapes. Anyways, that's pretty much it uh, for this one. If there's any questions or if there's any uh, comments or anything like that, please leave a comment in the, in the comment bank. Uh, also, uh, if you, you want to give some feedback or whatever, uh, send me an email. Put, again, put a comment in. If you like these videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.